Hi, I'm Sam Hargate, an exterior designer at Aston Martin, and today we're going to be sketching Vantage. So I'm just going to start here with a pad of paper and a good old biro. And for our side view, we're just going to start sketching out the silhouette of the car, just focusing really on proportion, making sure everything's roughly in the right place. It's worth spending a little bit of time on this first bit of the sketch, just to make sure everything's where you want it to be. And hopefully you can see it doesn't take too long before it already starts to resemble Vantage. Proportion is really important on our cars. Let's just work into the shoulder line here a little bit. Um, one of the nice things about Vantage is it's got this really elegant shoulder line that runs right from the front of the car right to the back. And that's something we took from uh, the previous Vantage. Something I always really liked about that car was the way the wheels feel like they're really popping out the side of the car. It looks like the bodywork is really shrink wrapped around them, so it's really muscular feel to it. And another key feature at the front of the car is this really distinctive nose on Vantage um, and the way that the grille, this S curve that we have, runs into the front splitter. And what we did here is we took a little bit of inspiration from Vulcan, the hypercar that we did a few years back many of you will know, crazy thing. And we added that into our into our sports car, so it really makes the car feel like it's planted right down to the ground. And inside there is kind of quite aggressive shark nose mesh. It gives a real purposeful um, look to the front of the car. Another key line is this line that runs right from the front, this really low nose on Vantage, right through the body side and up into this signature kick on the back of the car, this kind of, we call it a ducktail at the back. Uh, it's a signature Aston Martin kick, I suppose. And that gives the car a lot of wedge, so it really gives us dynamic stance. If you think about a sprinter ready to go on the starting blocks, this kind of angle of attack, this uh, makes the car feel like it's moving even when it's stationary. We try and think about our cars as different characters to help differentiate them from each other but also to kind of give a, a really clear purpose of what the car is trying to be. And this car was always thought of as the hunter right from the early stage of the design process. It's a very dynamic car. You can imagine this car kind of tracking down its prey. Very athletic. There's not really a right or wrong way of doing this, everyone's got their own unique way of sketching. I'm just adding a little bit of light and shade here, so just picking out areas that would sit in shadow and trying to think about how best to describe the form really. We often think about how the car would look sitting in natural lighting, that's how we design the cars most of the time. And I've probably done hundreds of sketches of this car over the years. It's often those one or two first ones that you did early on that really capture that character of the car, that have that real spark about them, I suppose. My favourite part of the design process is that, that point where um, it turns from a 2D sketch into a 3D form. We've got a great team at Aston Martin of uh, clay and digital modellers who will help bring your sketch alive, really, and that's always the cool part of the process. When you start to see it become a 3D object. It takes about somewhere between three to five years to go from a, from a sketch to a, a production car. It's really, really rewarding for everyone when they see it out there. But what's really nice about it is that it all starts with, with just a quick sketch, just like this. 